Hey, what's going on everyone? It's JD Headstrong. Um, today I'm going to be showing you this pretty cool uh, pufferfish cannon. Uh, it's pretty funny. I actually built it while playing around with uh, pufferfish collision. This allows you to just shoot pufferfish everywhere. It'd be excellent in the PvP sort of battlefield setting. I'm not going to be doing a tutorial just yet, but I am definitely going to show it to you because it's, it's hilarious and very over-engineered if you're interested in that. Uh, so without really much further ado, I'm going to, I'm going to get right into showing you guys this. So one thing you're probably going to notice is that, uh, everything is stuck down below the ground outside of these blocks right here. That's so the pufferfish don't get caught on anything. And this piece of ground mainly was to make sure I didn't flood anything while I was testing it out. It's not necessary anymore. I just keep it, uh, just as a fail safe. So I don't have to rebuild the whole thing if it does happen to break. It hasn't broken for me yet, but I haven't tested it a ton. I'm just showing this to you guys because it's it's really weird and pretty fun to play with. Uh, so here are the main inputs. These allow you to choose which direction you want to fire your cannon in. This is the loading system right here. You put some, some puffer fish right there and you just flick this lever and they get loaded into your blast chamber. And while that's doing its thing, I'll show you this. This is the fire all button. It shoots all of the, it shoots the puffer fish in every direction. It's hilarious to watch. This works with any kind of fish, including tropical fish, which is a lot more colorful a display. It, it's just, this is just hilarious to watch, honestly. Uh, okay, so we've, uh, we've loaded it. There we go, that's 64 puffer fish. By the way, if you use more than three stacks of puffer fish, be careful. Uh, I've got two gigabytes of RAM on my system, and it's not a ton, I know, but it lagged pretty badly when I was doing it. I couldn't really fire the, the, the system initially, so be careful with that. But if I press this fire all button, we got this going on. Now, they wouldn't normally die like that, but obviously I've got this up to where they do, so it stops some lag. Uh, normally there are a couple puffer fish left in the kill chamber, or the blast chamber, sorry. But not right then, surprisingly. Um, I'll show you with some tropical fish, too. Uh, and I'll choose a direction this time so I can show off that function. It's This is a pretty big circuit. Well, that's loading, I'll show you. I, I just built this up in the course of, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes just to to play around with this concept. Here, here was the original design. Just this little thing actually works. Um... Just not very well. <laughs> Requires a lot more input than this farm up here. Uh, this cannon, excuse me. So we'll shut that off and I guess we'll shoot forward. Yes, you could label these. I haven't done it yet. So we'll shoot the thing this direction. Beautiful. There's just something. See, this is what I was talking about. There are still some tropical fish left in there. It's fine. Uh, if you want to get rid of them, you just fire the system again. Normally that gets rid of all of them, but I guess we have one little guy left over. That'll be fine. Although I'm not doing a tutorial, I will show you some of the some of the circuits I used and try to explain them to you real quick. Uh, to start with, we have these individual fire buttons over here. Uh, they basically all just link down into their respective sides via some of the, some of this action. Uh, for those of you who don't know, when you power a piston in any way, be it hard powering a piston like with a, a repeater or soft powering it with redstone dust, as is happening here, uh, it will deactivate any redstone torches that are sitting on top of it. And that's actually very useful for stuff like this, where we've got a small area and need a lot of things to be unpowered. Uh, I took that and used it to my advantage right here, doing the same thing again uh, with the with uh, the pistons deactivating when the piston is powered, the torch is deactivating, sorry. Uh, and it allowed me to do this where I can I can power two at a time. And then I just ran a, a little L-shaped line down here that kind of shuts off all four at once. It makes things very easy. Uh, in terms of getting the water out of the middle, which if you were watching carefully, you'd notice it's not there when it opens. Uh, I did the, I used some more of that um, piston soft powering technique right here, and just have an observer running out of a redstone line here. Every output, every button runs into that redstone line, so I don't have to worry about building the water removal circuit for every single uh, every single side of the contraption. It, it kind of does it by itself. 
it's pretty nice because it does compact things a little bit, even though this is still a mess. I'm sure this could be made smaller. Uh, this was just a quick, a quick little tester. Um, honestly, I'm pretty happy with how it looks though. Um, there's not really a ton else to say outside of it's pretty fun to play with. If you want to put one of these in a PVP world, have at it. Though I will say, when you're loading this, you wouldn't be able to just use, say, a stack of uh, pufferfish spawn eggs. You'd have to use individual buckets of pufferfish. That could get very old and very tedious very quickly. So I don't recommend doing it that way. But in creative mode, it's a fun little contraption. I, I've, I've been playing around with it for a while. I've probably killed a couple thousand fish already, and I'm very sad about that. But it's worth it. Definitely a hilarious looking, a hilarious looking show. Anyways, uh, if you'd like to see more stuff like this, uh, remember to subscribe and like the video, uh, and definitely comment if you'd like to see me do a tutorial of this. Let me know in the comment section. I I, I don't have any plans to do to do a tutorial on this, but if you want to see one, let me know. I'll I'll look into it. Um, but yeah, definitely, uh, comment what you'd like to see me do in terms of other redstone builds, uh, because sometimes I have trouble with ideas, but thank you again for watching. And with that out of the way, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.